healthy. Well, there's fruit as well. Oh, lucky I'm not giving a talk on diabetes. Right, I have summarised the initiative into three sections. Early diagnosis, extending lives, and improving community care. We should do a feature on the website and via social media. This looks great. Thanks. To be honest, I'm looking forward to getting back out there, you know, on the front line. It just annoys me the way the papers go on about the death of community. If you believed everything that you read, you would think that we were all single, antisocial, and living in isolation. Well, it sells papers. Yes, I know. But the thing is, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, isn't it? I mean, look, if you reach out to somebody, most of the time they will reach back. It's human nature. I refuse to be a cynic just because it's fashionable. Look at them. Death Watch Beatles. Get a crack on the house to house. Right, now, the Primary Care Trust initiative has been set up so that we can improve the care we give to our patients. Now, we all know that most of our patients would prefer to be treated at home as opposed to being admitted to hospital. I, uh, I don't have time for home visits. Yeah, I'm not talking about all our patients. OK, if you can turn to page four, please, you will see a template of our friends and family survey. It's an opportunity for our patients to tell us how they feel about the care that they receive. You know, it's about evoking the power of the big society. The big society? Oh, come on, please. This is sounding an awful lot like a PR exercise. We're just giving people a voice in their own care. Yeah, if they can even be bothered. Look, I'm not talking about the generic mail shot. I'm talking about, you know, knocking on doors, getting people engaged. Yeah, most people can't even be bothered to vote nowadays. Do you have to be so cynical about everything? I just think you're talking about a community that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, well, I beg to differ. All right. Do you know about that body they found at the Satis House estate? No. Rob's always been called out to that place. Mm, be sick. Here we go. Body of a local woman, Jeannie Agaby. Agaby. Yeah, it was two years before they found her. She decomposed in her armchair and no one noticed. That is horrible. Then you talk about your big society. Can we get back to the point, please? Emma? Um, yeah, sorry. Right, um, could you turn to page five, please? See you next week, Mrs. Harper. OK. Take care. Oh, I'm sorry. Em, there's a DS Cunningham to see you. He says it's urgent. I I've given Neve your next patient. Oh, right. OK, well, send him in. OK. Dr. Reed, long time no see. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, Karen said it was urgent? Yes, yeah, nothing to be alarmed about. Uh, how's the ankle? Oh, on the mend, thanks. The lads at the station mentioned you were on your back. Was there a medical issue I could help you with? Me? No, I'm as fit as a bush's dog. We're investigating a death on the Satis House estate, Jeannie Agarby. Yes, I heard. She was your patient. Was she? You don't remember her? No. She was found with this. That is your signature? Maybe you could pull up a medical record, might jog your memory. How did she die? Difficult to say. Decomposition took everything except her bones. What's that for? Uh, it's uh, an antidepressant. Oh, I noticed that you saw Dr. Tyler previously, and oh, you've not long been registered with us. That's right. Yeah, I'm quite new to the area. Oh, so am I. How are you settling in? Not great. Uh, th that's why I came today. I've been feeling really low. Oh, 
that sometimes happens when you move to a new area. It takes time, but it usually gets easier. I just feel so lonely sometimes. Coming back to an empty flat, just wishing there was someone there. We all feel like that sometimes. I've not been sleeping well. The estate can be quite noisy at night. Well, uh, has anything else been going on? Have you noticed maybe a, a change in your appetite or a lack of energy? I, I, I feel tired all the time and I find it hard to concentrate uh, and I keep getting headaches. So she was depressed. What else? Well, I've got on my notes and I'm afraid they don't add much. How depressed? Enough to end it? Or do you think that's what happened? Well, there's no sign of forced entry. The post-mortem won't show anything. You tell me. You had the luxury of meeting her. I've got a bag full of bones. I met her once. It was brief. I can't have thought she was suicidal or I'd have taken further action. Anything else in there? Only that I've made a note there's no family history of depression. But she herself was feeling low, anxious. Didn't the neighbours notice anything? Nope. So no one raised the alarm? Well, they only found her because the council broke in. She was uh, behind on the rent two years. <laughs> I'd like to think someone might notice if I just disappeared like that, wouldn't you? What about friends, family? She must have. There were Christmas presents under the tree. I see someone's been busy. Oh, yeah. I love Christmas. Uh, makes me feel like a kid again. So is that the end of your shopping? Are you all set for the big day? Oh, no. I'm terrible. I always leave everything to the last minute. I'm afraid I'm a bit obsessive. I had it all done weeks ago. Will you be home for Christmas? Yes, with my husband and my son. That's nice. What about you? Have you got family nearby? No. They're all in Nigeria. I haven't decided about Christmas Day yet. Maybe I'll stay in on my own. But there is someone I might spend it with. She didn't mention any names? I don't think so. We're going through her mobile contacts. Were there signs that anybody else had been in the flat? Mm. We've traced her ex. He's in London. I met her interviewing him. Jeannie spent time in a refuge, apparently. Sounds like the ex was quick with his fists, so he's a possible. I don't remember her mentioning a partner. Well, no. <laughs> Not holding out much hope. What other recommendations did you make besides this? I know it sounds old-fashioned, but exercise really is the sworn enemy of depression. As regarding to why you're feeling like this, it might be an idea for you to see a counsellor, if you would like to. And I'm more than happy to put you in touch with somebody. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice Christmas. You too. Bye, then. Bye-bye. Here we are. A soothing cup of Lapsang Souchon. Have you got anything for guilt? Don't beat yourself up about this. Oh, it's hard not to. You saw the woman for five minutes two years ago. Yeah, but I keep thinking, was there something else I could have done? I mean, I didn't even follow up. It probably wouldn't have made any difference. Come on, drink. See? Better already. The world is full of lonely people and technology doesn't make it any better. We spend more time staring at screens than into each other's eyes. I just can't believe that she would have taken her own life. It's a sad case. It happens to all of us. I should know after Katrina. Yes, Cunningham. Can I have a word, sir? Inside? Sure. When I rang the doorbell, you didn't answer. Why? I thought it was God's quarters. <laughs> right. There must be a lot of people around here who need saving. <laughs> I'm investigating the death of Junior Garby in flat 18. One of my officers called around this morning, but once again, you didn't answer. I was at work. Did you know Junie? No. How did she die? That's what we're trying to ascertain. 
She'd been dead for a considerable amount of time. How long have you lived on the estate? Mm. A year. Mm. Any of the neighbours ever mentioned it to you? I don't tend to socialise. It's very transitory around here. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it? I painted it. It's meant to be the estate. Not for the faint-hearted. Right. I have, uh, I exhibit some of my other work here, if you're interested. Uh, <laughs> that's all right, sir. Art's not really my thing. I'll show myself out. How's the investigation going? Oh, you know, I have been back and forth through the notes, but there's nothing. Time to let it go. Are you sure you're all right? I need a repeat prescription. Um, can I take a name, please? It's Clive Keep. 19 Satis House. Are you, um, sure you're OK? Uh, I'm on medication for heart AF. I ran out of Solitor. When? I had enough for this morning. Right, OK. Um, I'll see Mr, um... Clive Keep. OK, if you'd like to follow me. I see you live at Satis House. It's been in the news recently. <laughs> Keeps the drug squad busy. Oh, I mean, uh, Jeannie Agarby. Did you know her? Why does everyone keep asking me that? You need to stay calm, Mr Keep. Your blood pressure is quite high. I'm sorry, I, I really didn't mean to pry. I only moved to the area recently. Can I get my prescription now, please? According to this, you haven't just moved into the area. You came in January 2010 to 19 Satis House. I met Jeannie briefly, not long before she died. Clive. Thanks for helping. It's nothing. Any time. Oh. Oh. Oh, you OK? Yeah. Just felt a bit dizzy. It's hot in here. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm always so cold. I'll turn the fire down. Oh, it's OK. I'll be fine. Thanks. The tree looks good. Oh. Have you got one? Nah. I don't bother, seeing as it's only me. You should. You don't have to spend a lot. You can get them at the pound shop. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? On the skin flint? No. <laughs> so, what are your plans for Christmas Day? Oh, I'm just gonna stay here and have a quiet one. Yeah, me too. You could, uh, you could always come over if you like. For dinner. Beans on toast? <laughs> no. Christmas dinner. <laughs> Will you get a tree if I come? Uh, I might. OK. What time? Uh, how about four o'clock? Don't be late. Deal. That was the last time I saw her. Couldn't stay any longer. I felt sick. Had palpitations, dizziness. And Christmas Day? She never showed up. I sat waiting all evening, getting more and more annoyed. The dinner was ruined. In the end, I just went round there, knocked on the door. I could hear the TV inside. She never answered. Well, that's it. You, you didn't see or hear from her again, and yet you did nothing. What? Well, you've just said that you got more and more annoyed. Yeah, she stood me up. Yeah, and you were going round there to have it out with her. No. No? It wasn't like that. 
Well, you can see how it looks, Clive. You may well have been the last person to see her alive. I had nothing to do with whatever happened to her. Have you spoken to the police? Because it might just help with her time of death, at least. Can I get my prescription now, please? I don't understand. If you cared about her, how could you do absolutely nothing? I have my reasons. Yes, coming in. Dr. Reed, that's twice we've spoken in one day. People will talk. Okay, I'm on my way. I have just broken several speed restrictions. This had better be worth it. I think I know what killed Junior Garvey. Well? Carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> That's it? You've brought me all the way here for that? There's no way of proving it, Emma, unless you've got a time machine handy. There's no physical evidence. No, you don't understand. People don't always show the same symptoms when they've been exposed to CO. What if Jeannie attributed hers to depression? She was feeling tired, she was finding it difficult to concentrate, feelings of nausea. Yeah. And she might have just been depressed. And since we don't know anyone else who spent time in that flat, there's no way of proving it. But I do. Another patient. Who? No, well, I can't tell you that. But what I can tell you is they spent a very short time in that flat, mm -hmm. and yet they rapidly started to experience heart palpitations, dizziness and nausea. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they notice it more than Jeannie when she was there all the time? Surely, well, her symptoms would have been worse, wouldn't they? No, not necessarily. But if you have a heart condition, then you're at risk. Carbon monoxide poisoning is a form of blood poisoning. So if you have a pre-existing heart condition, then you're much more vulnerable. Person B is our carbon monoxide litmus test. I need a name. No. Oh, come on, don't go all frigid on me. Seriously, this is the only lead I've got. Well, seriously, I cannot break patient confidentiality. I don't believe this. At least point me in the right direction. All right, look, you might want to re-interview some of her neighbours. Nice one. I am taking you out for dinner later, and I won't take no for an answer, so be ready. Six o'clock, sharp. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. OK, you're a dark horse. Hmm? Who was that? Wouldn't you like to know? What are you looking at, eh? You nosy cow! Keep it down. Do you know what I really fancy? What? A Chinese. Oh, perfect. I will pay if you put the rubbish out. You have a deal. <laughs> hmm. um, can I see you in one minute? Sure. Good night, Reed. Good night. So, this uh, fit copper, I'm thinking it's a date. Well, it may not be a date. Oh, come on, he's really fit. Who's that? No one you know or have ever met. Good night, Neve. Yeah. Can you still manage a drink while you're hobbling about? I can manage all sorts of things. It's a Barolo. Cost me an arm and a leg, but I figured you'd have expensive taste. Then you will find some cups and a corkscrew in there. So, how did you get on with, um, the neighbours? With Clive Keep, you mean? That was who you had in mind? I couldn't possibly comment. He uh, helped us fill in some of the gaps, but he's no killer. I think your poisoning theory fits very neatly, actually. So do forensics. Shame. I was really hoping to put him away.
I wanted a result. To nail the bad guy. Oh, I thought you said Clive wasn't a bad guy. Isn't he? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I don't understand. I mean, why didn't he raise the alarm? I think he genuinely cared for Jeannie, so why didn't he go back after Christmas Day? Somebody said something. Look, whatever they said, just, just give me a chance to explain, please. We were both off our faces, I swear. The prosecution twisted everything I said. Jeannie. Please don't do this to me. You know a lot more than you're telling me. Sorry, confidentiality. Don't pretend you've got scruples, Dean. I know you better than that. Anyway, two hours ago, you were pushing me to break confidentiality like it meant nothing at all. You are very sexy when you're angry. Did you know that? Why is Clive Keep the bad guy? Oh, he lied to my face, Anna. Denied ever knowing Jeannie. It's called withholding evidence. But why would he do that? I mean, if he wasn't guilty of anything and, well, you hadn't charged him and, well, she wasn't murdered. Will you tell me? You're the one with the, uh... The crystal ball, it seems. I could see he was upset, but why? He's got previous, hasn't he? What for? Emma, as fascinating as this conversation is, I have booked a restaurant. When I asked Clive why he didn't raise the alarm, he said he had his reasons. He thought she'd found out. That she was going to tell people. She was probably already dead. We don't know that. Oh, he was the one person who could have saved her. And he said he just hid himself away, denied even knowing her. Can we go now? I've been up since the cracker sparrows and I'm starving. What was the previous conviction for? He served five years. He's a scumbag. Some people might deserve a second chance, but not sex offenders. Castration, yes. I wanted to charge him with something, anything. But the DI overruled me. But he'll get what's coming to him. I've made sure about that. Why? What have you done? Let's just say I put the word out. <laughs> well, you have no right to do that. He served his time. It's not enough. Well, that's not for you to decide. That's why we have a legal system. <laughs> Which doesn't work. But as I said, he'll get what he deserves. I think you should leave. What? Oh, come on. You're overreacting. Now. for Christmas? Yes. With my husband and my son. What am I supposed to do? Give up? 
Sorry, Sierra. Good luck in foster care. Keep in touch, yeah? I don't leave Christmas till the last minute. Run around buying any old crap for my wife like a novelty apron. Yeah, complete memory loss and you'll remember that. I'm an assassin. Have you ever used a corrupt? They might take Sierra away for good. Don't hurt her to get back at me. The details of organisations which offer...